Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Got a treat here for you today. I'm with my friend James and his 1959 Chevrolet Brookwood. How you doing, Ryan? Thanks for coming out. James, this car is killer, man. What all have you done to it? How'd you get it? So when I got this car, uh, I wanted, it was back in 2013, April of 2013. Um, I bought it from a guy down in Tennessee. He had put the air ride on it and he put the wheels and tires on. Um, did some work on the floors. He did really nice work. Uh, and he did the interior, which I think is one of the coolest interiors that I've seen on a car like this. So then when I got it, um, I had to rebuild the, the column shift. I put all new bushings in it and uh, I put disc brakes on it. I put a nice big aluminum radiator in it with dual fans. Um, new exhaust, completely rewired the car. I did uh, some Dynamat under the dash and the front floor. And what else did I do there? Oh, I added the Vintage Air. The Vintage Air system will need to be wired and uh, needs a charge. Other than that, uh, everything's installed for it. So as I said, this car came from Tennessee from a guy named Brian Pope. He owns Pope's Hot Rods. And he did the interior, um, which like I said, is, he did a really fantastic job down to painting every screw head. Um, really, really nice colors. Uh, just an outstanding job. The, uh, the headliner looks amazing. Uh, all the carpet looks really nice. Did a fantastic job on it. James, what's this thing gotten in it for a motor? This is a 283. I'm not sure if it's the original 283, but I'm guessing that it is. It's got the, the um, you know, the heads with the offset bolt for the valve covers. So it is older. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's the original motor, but it is an older one. So a couple years ago, I, you know, just kind of did a clean up and detailed some stuff. I put a, a, an aluminum intake on it, a four barrel. Um, but yeah, that's that radiator, which I think is a really nice piece. When I first got the car, it didn't want to cool the best, but now it's been no problem at all. So it's got dual fans? Yep. Is it disc brake in the front? It is disc brake in the front. And you have a painless uh, wiring harness in it as well? It's American Auto Wire. American Auto Wire. Throughout the whole car. And this is the vintage air setup, correct? Yes. Now, did you buy the block off plate or? That all came with the kit, the vintage air sure fit kit. Was that a pretty easy install or was it a lot of? It was, you know, they, they say it's very easy, but uh, it's it took some time. And at the same time, as I did the wiring at the same time. So it just, you know, it seemed like a pretty big job. Yep. Well, I absolutely love the patina outer body and the brand new interior, brand new motor. The air ride suspension, it just, it gives it such a killer look. Yeah, yeah, I get a lot of, uh, it turns a lot of heads everywhere I take it. Well, it's cool sitting here static, but do you care if we uh, take it for a spin? Let's go. One cool thing about these old wagons here is how the actual window itself rolls down and how you open the tailgate. So James, you want to demonstrate quick how that how that's done? Sure. You flip this up, open it up, you put your key in, you can unlock it or lock it, and then you turn this crank and that, that operates the glass. And then once the glass is all the way down, which the glass has to be all the way down in order to open the tailgate, there's a lever inside here. You just grab that, give it a pull, 
and it's open. And you load your plywood. As you can see, the interior is finished all the way from front to back. Got an auxiliary plug in right there. Charge your phone or a, or a cooler. And the little seat will fold down to give you extra cargo room. Pretty neat for 60 years ago. So James, I definitely appreciate you letting us come out here and film this wagon. No problem, thanks for coming out. But anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a, a like rating, comment with your favorite feature on this wagon, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this coming daily. Until next time, my name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you in the next video.